Hi guys, for today's DIY, I'm going to show you some back to school room decor. These are things that will make your room look super cute and also help you stay organized for school. I hope you guys enjoy this video and make sure to give it a thumbs up if you do. Now let's just jump right into it. This mason jar organizer is a great way to organize your pencils and pens so your desk stays looking neat and not super cluttered. All you need for this are as many mason jars as you'd like to use. I'm using three and a hot glue gun. All you have to do is glue the mason jars together. It's pretty simple and you just kind of want to stack them on top of each other. So you start off by gluing the bottom two together or you can do three at the bottom, two in the middle or one at the top. I just chose to do two and then take the last one and add it to the top and just let it dry for like two minutes and you're done. This metallic cork board is a great way to keep track of all your important papers or notes for class and you can also decorate it with cute pictures. You're going to need metallic spray paint, painter's tape, a ruler, pencil, scissors, and four cork tiles. Starting off you just want to add the stripes and you're going to do this on all four of the cork tiles but I'm just using the width of my ruler because it happens to be perfect but just go ahead and trace out the stripes with your pencil and then go back in with your painter's tape and you want to tape every other stripe because you only want the paint on half of the stripes. So just go ahead and like fold under the painter's tape and make sure you cover the entire stripe. You're just going to continue this process, like I said, on all four of the cork tiles, but you're just going to draw your line and then go in and add your tape. Make sure you're drawing all of your lines nice and evenly because if they're not even and you're trying to do the same design I did, it won't turn out in the end. Also, you can do tons of different designs like polka dots, really whatever you want. And once you are all done with the tape, here's what it will look like. You're just going to go in with your spray paint and you really only need like one or two coats of the spray paint and it dries in like 15 minutes, which is great. So just go ahead and fill in all the lines and then make sure you let it dry all the way before you begin to remove the painter's tape. And after you've removed the painter's tape, you're just gonna hang it on your wall and you're all done. Replacing some of the wall art in your room with this super cute dry erase calendar will help you remember all of your important assignments and you won't forget another big test. For this, you're going to need a multi-frame picture frame. You can get those just about anywhere. Some craft letter stickers, dry erase markers to write on it when you're done, some scissors, and then I'm recycling some shopping bags, but you can also use craft paper. First, you want to start off by cutting out all of the pieces of craft paper, or if you're using recycled shopping bags like me, you just want to go ahead and cut out as many of those little sizes that you are going to need. So I decided to do four and make every other one just like white and plain just to give it a cool little design. So just go ahead and trace whatever paper you are using lightly with a pencil. And then after that, take your scissors and then simply cut them all out at the same time. That way you don't have to go back and forth. So once you're all done cutting all of those out, you're just going to remove all the little pictures and either flip them over or insert your little craft paper or paper that you are using for that. And then once that's all done, you're ready to add your letters. So you're just gonna go ahead and stick them on. I decided to abbreviate and use bigger letters, but if you wanna use smaller letters, you could totally fit the entire day on there. But yeah, just go ahead and do that. And once you're finished, you're all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY video and it gave you some ideas to still make your room look super cute while getting organized for back to school. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. My Twitter and Instagram will be linked down below. Don't forget to follow me on there and tweet me a picture if you decide to make any of these. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!